So I'm here at Michael Sobel Jewish Community Centre where they're approaching the 10th anniversary of being on this site. We're joined by clients, staff and volunteers for this wonderful occasion and they're having such a fantastic time, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> uh, also here today is uh, Lord Levy. Wonderful to see you. I have to say, coming in, I passed the nail bar here and I was stunned. It's amazing what you can get done here. This is just a brilliant facility had them done. I've made an appointment. <laughs> Great, okay. So tell me about the importance of um, Jewish care and providing facilities like this. So here we've got the Morris and Vivian World Campus. It is very special and this is a lifeline. Our day centres for so many people. We take so many things for granted but just getting here, having a great driver to bring people here, we try and make sure that everyone in our community, Gillian, can lead a full and happy life. It thrills me every time I come into the campus. Tell me about the other campuses. We also now have two other major campuses. The Betty and Asher Loftus Centre in Free and Barnet, where we have three residential homes, we have an Alzheimer's unit, we have a synagogue, and so many other facilities. And then we have our newest campus, which is just past Stanmore, called Sandringham. You've been there, Gillian. You know how spectacularly beautiful it is. I feel I can genuinely say that this will not just be unique for our Jewish community, but it will probably be one of the finest care campuses in the country. OK, Lord Levy, I'm going to leave you to get on with your lunch now and I'm going to talk to some of the other Thank people here today, so the members. Okay. And the great thing about Jewish care is that anyone can get involved as a volunteer. We've got some younger volunteers here. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Afternoon. <laughs> uh, let's start with Daniel, first of all. Daniel, why did you decide to get involved with Jewish care and give your time? Uh, so I think that, to be honest with you, young people today, and certainly something that I feel is that we can be very much take, take, take. And it's also quite important to me to feel like I can give something back and apply some of the things that I've learned in, in my career today and also outside of work to a cause that I find meaningful. And I'm sure your, your dad would be very proud of you. He was uh, the treasurer for, for Jewish Care, sadly no longer with us. Yes. I think that one of the other things that was really important to me was to feel that even um, after my, my father passed away that our family could continue to give to Jewish Care and it was a massive part of his life and is now uh, something that I feel really passionately about and will continue to do so for many years. And Andrew, finally, what would you say to those who are sort of teetering on the brink of, of getting involved? Don't teeter. Get involved. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Daniel, Rob and Andrew, thank you very much. The youth of Jewish care. Fantastic volunteers. Um, we're still, still talking about volunteers and now the ultimate volunteer, from volunteer to president, Lord Levy. You started as a volunteer, how long ago? Well over 30 years ago, Gillian. But if I may, I want to really pay tribute to every volunteer. They are so crucial to Jewish care. If you can imagine the salary bill, Gillian, if we had to pay staff instead of those 3,000 volunteers, we really couldn't carry on. A round of applause for the volunteers. <laughs> it's been a, a year of um, quite some change for Jewish Care, hasn't it? Yes, it has, Gillian. We have a new fantastic chief executive, Daniel Carmel Brown, who is doing an amazing job. We have opened Wall Court, the Anita Dorfman home and also Wolfson Assisted a Living, another great new facility. So we don't stand still. We are trying to do new things, develop new centres, new programmes, because we recognise that things move on and people want the best they can get for their families. And we are trying to give them precisely that. And you've had some support from some exciting people this year, haven't you? We've had a year where so many celebrities feel they want to be part of Jewish care. We recently had Elaine Page 
who was at the Holocaust Survivor Center dinner. We then had the incredible Michael McIntyre bringing the house down with his humor, and that was for our Redbridge facility. And then we had the Duchess of Cornwall. She came to the Brenner Center, Stepney Community Center, part of Rain House, to have royalty, to have some of our biggest stars in the country feel that they want to be part of this amazing organization, Jewish Care. It's wonderful. And what do you think it is that makes Jewish Care so very special to, to so many people? We're Jewish, proudly Jewish. We give everyone that is involved what they need of their Jewishness, celebrate festivals, but then we have the care element, and we do care. Our staff, over 1,300 staff, all different nationalities, but they have one major factor in common, and that is they care. We have over 65 different committees, people at the top of their game, the top of their profession, giving of their time and volunteering to make sure that everything we do is done in the most serious and professional way. And then we have different fundraising groups and they take on different things from bike riding to doing marathons, raising money. And then of course we have those who are able to support in serious mega ways who have really done so much. For Jewish care. And if you could give one message to all the guests tonight, what would that be? Without your support, everything you've seen tonight, all these wonderful occasions, lunches, dinners in our different facilities, all the amazing people we take care of at different stages of their life would not be possible. You make me proud to be part of Anglo Jury and of our community. We're a very special community. We go through difficult moments, but we stick together because we're a caring community and because we're part of our Jewish family. That is why Jewish care is there and it only is there because of you, each and every one of you, and the support you give. So what I want to say, Gillian, to everyone in the room, is thank you for being who you are, what you stand for, and what you do. Thank you.